The curtain has come down on the latest installment of the Rookie Rumble series, with over 350 overclockers submitting more than 850 results. The eventual winner was a relative newcomer from Germany called Saber Rider, who finished the competition with a total of 132 points. On the AMD side of the fence, we see that Brazilian caveman from, well, Brazil, won the competition. Congratulations to you both, and check out this video for more information on the scores and the final rankings. The XTU benchmark is arguably the rookie benchmark of choice, offering an easy path in the overclocking fold with automatic submissions and integrated tweaking that make it oh so tempting to get involved. The scores submitted are divided by the number of cores the processor has, a fact that tends to favor the somewhat more affordable quad-core models of the current generation Intel CPUs. This stage is also one where eventual winner Saber Rider proved himself to be a true champion, with a winning score of 343.50 marks per core, pushing his Intel Core i7-5930K to 5.1 GHz, a mammoth 45% beyond stock settings. As ever, Stage 2 involves the in-house developed HW Prime benchmark app, which calculates primes per second scores which are again divided by the number of CPU cores present. This round tends to be dominated by the affordable Intel Pentium G3258, a dual-core Haswell chip that Intel has generously unlocked in celebration of the 20-year anniversary of the Pentium brand. Again, we find the top dog is our eventual winner from Germany, Saber Rider, who pipped the competition with a very impressive score of 2,304.91 per core, using a custom-cooled Pentium G3258 pushed to 5.2 GHz, which is an impressive 62% above stock. If you're not familiar with the benchmark used in stage 3, it's a GPU Pi app which calculates the mathematical constant Pi using either graphics chips or CPUs. For the Rookie Rumble, it's all about the CPU, of course, and in the case of the winning score, you find an Intel Xeon E52698V3 being pushed by Costa Rican Britoflex21, our eventual contest runner-up. Britoflex21 managed to reach a clock speed of 2938 MHz to arrive at the score of 8 seconds and 334 milliseconds. Let's have a look at the final leaderboard, where we can see a lot of familiar rookie faces. At a glance, you can see that both French and Costa Rican contingents continue to prove that amateur overclocking is very much and well alive in those countries. Germany, meanwhile, will be proud to have two top 10 finishers taking both 1st and 10th spot. Don't forget that you can find all the information on scores, submissions, pictures, and the rankings on the Rookie Rumble 19 competition page. Of course, a Rookie Rumble roundup would not be complete without looking at how things went down on the AMD side of things. So let's check that out now. One of the highlights from this round was Brazilian Caveman's Stage 1 clock frequency submission, pushing a Sempron 145 to an impressive 4.6 GHz. We will leave you with a shot of Neul's rig, where he pushes his FX8320 to 5.4 GHz to achieve a score of 15 seconds, 593 milliseconds in GPU Pi for CPU. The next Rookie Rumbles start on July 4th. You can find more information on OC Esports, where you find the competition pages. They're also linked below if you want to have a shortcut. Uh, subscribe to this channel if you want to have more information on overclocking competitions or overclocking related news. Uh, like this video if you actually liked it, dislike it if you don't like liked it at all, share it if you have friends, uh, watch it again if you don't have any friends, and see you until the next time.